All right, guys, it's time for mystery box number five from Turner's Warehouse. So if you're not familiar with this series, what happens is Turner's Warehouse sends me a box that I have no clue what the contents are. I gotta figure out what to do with it, basically. I don't even know what kind of project we're making. It should be pretty fun. It's gonna be a little bit of resin casting and some turning, most likely, uh, but I don't know what we're making. So let's dive into this box and see what we're working on today. All right, guys, before we bust into this, I just wanted to share the awesome artwork that's all over this. So the whole team, everybody from Turner's Warehouse did one of the hand turkey things. So pretty sweet. This one was made by Chad. We got Haley. We got Amy. Look at that. That's pretty good. And Taco's mom. We got Carrie. Uh, oh, and we got uh, Kurt also got in the action. He was on the bottom. That's like a fuzzy turkey. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. They always do good. And Haley always does the, the cartoons. So anyway, let's bust this thing open. Ah, uh, we got fruit snacks. I love the fruit snacks. All right, so we got our, we got our instructions. Oh my God, <laughs> I think I got crazy with this one. Uh, <laughs> that says Kurt. All right, so, hey, oh, Zach, what's your favorite cheese, Brie, Gouda, or perhaps Fontina? Let's get into this cheesy project. Your challenge this month is to complete a full set of cheese knives in honor of the charcuterie boards that will be gracing the season in the next two months, nice. We included some cool fall inspired stuff, but other than that, you can cast and turn how you like. Have fun and stay cheesy. Turner's team. All right, so we got instructions as well. That's awesome. So let's get into here. Let's see here. Although, don't forget guys, holiday ornament challenge might be over by the time this video goes up, but if it's not, uh, make sure to get yours in on time. Oh, look at that. We got a little bit of the, it's like a, the potpourri stuff. I think that'll be really fun to cast. Ooh. Is that a flower in there too? Dried goodies, sweet. All right, so here are the, the kits. Let's check these guys out and see how this works. I've never seen this before. Oh, look at that, a whole set of them. Sweet, so there's like knives, all kinds of different scrapers and knives. Look at that. And even a fork as well. All right, so I'm gonna open one of these just to show you guys kind of what's going on. I'm gonna have to read the instructions in a second, kind of figure out how to do this, but I think it's gonna be pretty easy. So I think you basically just embed this into the blank and you got yourself a little feral there. So not too bad. I, I don't think this is gonna be too difficult. You probably just epoxy it in. Pretty simple way to go. So I'll read the instructions and we'll get started making some blanks for these. All right, it's time to make some blanks for these things. We got our potpourri uh, that they sent, and I also thought, oh, it'd be kind of cool to toss some little uh, die-stabilized burl chunks down in the bottom of these blanks, and hopefully that'll help kind of cover up where we glue in the, the tang things on these, these hardware pieces. Um, you know, if you're going for like a transparent blank, then you would see all this stuff. Um, the easiest way to go is just go for, you know, totally opaque colors, and then you don't have to worry about that. But um, I'm gonna do that on a few of the blanks, and then I'm gonna do some transparent ones and just see how this works. So we'll do a couple different types of things. It should be pretty fun. Now for work holding, you know, I have instructions on how to make, you know, do these, these things. And, you know, number one, they called for two inch blanks. I just, on most of these things, they're pretty small. I just, I don't really see the need to make a two inch or start with a two inch blank because I'm gonna turn it down quite a ways. So um, four of these are gonna be one and a half inch blanks. One of them is gonna be a two inch blank and that's for, there's one, one of these things is, um, it's like a little mini butcher knife kind of thing. And I thought, you know, a little bit stouter handle just seems like it would go pretty well with that. So we're gonna go for a two inch blank on that one. Now for the work holding, um, I'm gonna just go for the stopper mandrel uh, work holding method. The way these work, you just drill a hole in your blank and then glue this thing in. So um, they recommended a seven millimeter hole. Um, I think that probably will fit this thing um, pretty tight. Um, one thing I'm a little bit worried about is if it's too tight with a, you know, a resin plastic blank, um, this may be kind of hard to, to jam in there if it's like really tight. Wood is easy. You just kind of, you know, pound it in and it's going to kind of crumple the, the fibers. But with plastic, it doesn't give. There's nowhere to, for it to go because it's solid surface. So uh, I don't think that having a slightly, you know, oversized hole is going to be a problem. And it makes, you know, all I got to do is tap threads in that thing and then just use a, a stopper mandrel to, to hold the piece on the, the lathe. 
pretty simple way to go. Now the instructions recommended making basically a, a jam chuck, drill a seven millimeter hole in your blank and then create a tenon on a, on a waste block piece and then use that as kind of a jam chuck and it just seemed like a lot of complicated <laughs> unnecessariness. Um, so uh, you could do that if you wanted. Another way to go is just use like a glue block and, and glue your blank onto the glue block and then part it off, you know, after you're, you know, drill it from the one side and then uh, turn it backwards basically where the, the hole's on the one end. I don't know. There's lots of different ways to work hold. I think the easiest way to go is just the, going the stopper mandrel uh, method. Um, so we're all ready. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to drop these guys into the bottom of the pipes, put some of uh, the, the potpourri um, on top, and then we're going to go for some that are opaque, some that are transparent. And I'm just going to kind of have a field day with whatever colors and stuff, additives uh, that we put in there. So I'm excited. Let's get these things rolling. Let's mix up some resin and make some blanks. Two hours later.
All right, so we got our blanks ready. We got some opaque ones. We got some clear and opaque ones. Um, I decided not to go for fully transparent. I thought I, you know, I really just want to kind of, you know, mix this up and see how it goes. And they should match real well, same colors. So I'll get two blanks out of this and one out of that. And then one out of each of these. So it should be pretty fun. I'm going to get these guys cut up. Um, it'll be interesting to see how these blanks compare. Um, but then after they're cut and ready to go, we're going to head over to the lathe. Start uh, drilling them out, tapping them, and then turning them up. So it should be pretty fun. Let's go get to turning.
All right, so we got ourselves a five piece cheese knife set. This thing turned out pretty awesome. I'm really happy with all these things. So, you know, a little bit different, a little bit more work. There's five pieces, obviously, um, but a really awesome, nice thing to have for a gift uh, for yourself. You can make, a, you know, a cutting board project even. Um, that This doesn't match it. I, I, this was a different video, but, you know, you could do um, this type of thing, match it up with your, your uh, you know, custom made uh, handles and you can have a really awesome gift like I said or something at a party that you put out it's gonna you know turn heads um, so there's a video on this uh, this kind of cutting board cheese board thing um, so there's a link down in the description below as well as on the screen if you want to check out that video one thing I do want to note about this kit or this set um, that you know it said and I maybe I didn't read the, the instructions fully but it said that you needed a seven millimeter hole and I drilled a five sixteenths thinking, okay, that, you know, they're all, they're all, all going to fit. And so I just assumed that these things were all the same size. This one's much bigger. It doesn't even fit in a five sixteenths hole. So I'm about to glue. I got five minute epoxy like setting up on me. And I actually had to take this over to a grinder and grind the tang part down. So just make sure I would actually, you know, if you're going to do the same type of thing, I don't really think you need to drill a bigger hole. I think that's kind of silly. What I would do though is drill your holes and do whatever you're doing and then um, you know, grind that piece down and make sure it fits before you start pulling the glue out. So just a little tip on that one, but uh, a really fun project to make, you know, and, and like I said, uh, it goes well with, you know, like a cheese board or a, like, a, like a hybrid kind of um, cutting board or just a regular, you know, wooden one. Um, but I think it'd be pretty cool to match up, you know, whatever resin and stuff that you're using. You, you could maybe make a hybrid handle and, and make the same kind of hybrid, you know, cutting block. Um, that would be a pretty killer gift, I think. So anyway, again, thank you to Turner's Warehouse for coming up with a really cool mystery box. Sorry it took so long to get this one out. I just ran out of time with everything. So uh, we're running up to the end of the year. So I guess, uh, you know, I hope everybody has a really happy holiday this year. Um, you know, get some good food, hang out with some friends and family, um, stay warm. Uh, and I hope you have fun, you know, getting in the shop and making something cool. This is a really awesome um, project. I felt bad that it was, you know, like after Thanksgiving and really kind of too late for the, the holidays, most likely, maybe, maybe not. Um, but you know, Super Bowl's coming up. This would be a pretty cool thing to, to pull out for like, a, if you're having a Super Bowl party or to bring over to somebody's house is a little bit of a gift for having you guys over or something like that. So, uh, hopefully you'll check it out. There's a link down in the description below to the kit and all that stuff. And again, it's a, an affiliate code or affiliate link so that if you use that, you're actually helping support the show. It costs you nothing. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, and big, again, a big thank you to Turner's Warehouse uh, for sending all this stuff down and for hooking up the affiliate program as well, um, helping support, you know, the, the, the show. So make sure to, you know, support them. If you got a choice of where to, you know, shop, um, check out Turner's Warehouse first. They do a lot of stuff for the community. So anyway, guys, I hope you have, a, a, again, a wonderful rest of the year. Happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the next video.